Hello and welcome to Dhe IAS. Today in this video, we will explore the historical evolution of hydropower in India. In 1947, hydropower played a significant role in India's energy landscape, accounting for 37% of the power generating capacity of the country. It generated 53% of the nation's electricity. However, in the late 1960s, coal-based power generation began to overshadow the hydropower, declining its share dramatically. Fast forward to 2023, India's hydropower capacity stands at 46865 megawatts representing 11% of the total power capacity of India. In 2022-23, hydropower contributed to 12.5% of India's power generation. India also possesses 4.74 gigawatt of operational pumped storage capacity, 57345 megawatt under various stages of investigation and construction. Globally, Hydropower remains the dominant renewable energy source counting for 2/3 of total renewable electricity. In 2021, the world's installed hydropower capacity reached 1.3 terawatts generating generating 4250 terawatts of clean energy. In 2021, China accounted for 80% of new global hydropower capacity additions. But global hydropower capacity additions fall short of the annual targets necessary to meet the net zero goals by 2050. Now let's look into the challenges and environmental concerns regarding the hydropower. Large hydropower projects come with significant environmental and social costs including displacements of communities and disruption of ecosystems. In February 2021, devastating flooding in Uttarakhand highlighted the risks associated with the hydropower projects. The precise causes of the 2021 floods remain debated, but insignificant appraisals played a pivotal role in the extent of the losses. Large hydropower projects can also lead to loss of homes, livelihoods and cultural heritage. Now, let's look at the path of India for sustainable hydropower. Hydropower projects in India can meet international sustainability standards as exemplified by Tista 5 hydropower station. Modular solutions and in-stream turbine parks can environmentally, socially and financially be desirable alternatives. Innovative approaches like smart hydropower projects can minimize ecological costs. The Indian government has taken steps to support hydropower projects including tariff rationalization and funding infra. It has also introduced hydropower purchase obligations HPOs as a non-solar renewable purchase obligation RPO. Hydropower's flexibility in balancing load variations is crucial for maintaining grid stability. In India, this flexibility was evident on 5th April 2020 when operators restored grid stability following a significant demand drop of 31 gigawatts pumped hydro storage facilities act as water batteries and play a vital role in grid stability now let's understand what phs facilities are phs facilities work by moving water from upper and lower reservoirs when electricity demand is high the water is released to generate power in the low demand times cost energy is used to pump water back up it plays a vital role in grid balancing PHS provides essential network support services such as frequency control and fault level control which will gain value as non synchronous solar and wind generation increases in conclusion hydropower in india has a rich history global significance and challenges balancing environmental concerns is vital for india's sustainable energy future transparency and collaboration among the government industry and civil society are essential for a sustainable development of hydropower projects That's all for today. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video insightful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more such insightful content. We'll see you next time. Till then, stay informed, stay curious.